This is a video for how to create 20 ISOs, the second object. So let's make 100% sure we're in our correct project file. We're in 20 ISOs online. I'm going to say done. And let's go ahead and flip over to our 20 ISO sheet. Now, man, moving around on me a little bit here. So I'm going to have to come back over here, come back up. I tried to click and drag. So here we are. So this object right here, we're going to use the subtractive method to create this part right here. We're going to use the subtractive method. So this object is in a rectangular prism with this cut out of it. So we're going to look at the total distance here. The width is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wide by 4 tall by 6 deep. 8 by 4 by 2. Let's go to File. Go to New. We're in English, Inches, IPT. And we're going to go back up to Primitives. Again, if you don't have the Primitives, um, pull down menu up here. You can just right click on top of any icon, go to show panels, and there's primitives. Make sure you have a check next to it. We're going to click on box, go down to box, and go to XY plane, and we're going to click on our origin and drag out. And once again, we are 8 by 4 by 6. So, notice it's highlighted in blue. 8, tab, 4, enter. It's going to jump right into, the, into um, extrude, 6, enter. And we automatically have our rectangular prism. Now you'll notice on the 20 ISO sketch, the cut is on the top. We're going to go to the top view of the object, draw this shape, this parallelogram kind of shape, and we're going to cut it down. So we need to go to our view cube and click on front and flip down the top. Grab your pencil and click on your pencil. So the shape we're going to draw is, let's just go to our line command and let's just draw the shape. So I'm going to snap over here on the side. And I don't want to snap to green dot here in the middle because it's not guaranteed it's at the midpoint. And I'm just going to click there, and I, I finished a line there. If you draw on an existing line, it will pick up the pencil. So if I'm going to click, and I'm just going to come down here and just choose a point down here. I'm going to click again and come back. And let's take a look at what we have to do. We have to stop before we reach the edge, and then we have to come over and hit the edge, and then come up and meet that top corner. So along here somewhere, I'm going to click to here. I'm going to come over and click here. And then I'm going to click back up to here. You have to make 100% sure. I'm going to right click and say OK. Make 100% sure you've drawn a total of one, two, three, four, five lines. We've drawn a total of five lines. Let's go back to 20 ISOs. Back here, this is a distance of three. Grab our dimension toolbar. I'm going to click on points this time. So we're going to have to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to try to get this point to this point because it's probably not going to let us select the line. We set a distance of three. And we're going to hit enter. Three. Automatically did that. We clicked point to point. We didn't click on the line and drag up because notice it's going to see this yellow line. The yellow line is projected geometry. It's part of the object. It's part of the object we're drawing on. Let's go back to 20 ISOs. Now this could be simple for us. We could just go a distance of one in from here and two in from the right. So from the left, from this point, zoom in from that point to over here. On the opposite side, from this line, zoom in to that point. I zoomed out and it worked well. We're going to go two. And automatically now we've created the distance of this line by its relationship to existing geometry. So again, notice we didn't click on, we didn't say, oh, this line is a distance of five. We created a distance of five by creating its location based upon its relationship to existing geometry. We told the line B5 because you're two from the right and one from the left. That's a total of eight. So we don't have to say what the distance of this line is right here. The two and the one is going to make this five. Let's go back to here. Distance from the top down is three. So over to the top. Point to point. I'm going to drag out and I'm going to say three and hit enter. And I'm going to go to finish sketch. And let's go to our isometric view. And you now have that sketch resting on the top. We have totally constrained the object by its numeric constraints. The depth down that we're going to cut is a distance of two. One, two. Let's go back. Extrude inside of here. We're going to cut a distance of two. And hit enter. Click on my house. That right there is the video for how to create number two for your multi-view drawing, or excuse me, for your 20 ISOs project in Inventor.